Today, I'm going to teach you the best runes to put on all of your tools and weapons. So when it comes to the tools, we're talking about the epic pickaxe and the epic axe. And then as far as weapons, we're going to talk about the spear and then the long sword. Because if you guys did not know, the musket and the knockback pistol do not work. So you cannot put any essence on them. They work as far as shooting them, but you can't actually upgrade them in any way. And yes, that is three pickaxes and two axes because I have three different ones for the pickaxe, but but only two for your axe. Now, just because it says that you're not able to use any essence or runes on top of these new weapons and shields in the game does not mean that they're not usable. They're definitely a lot more fun to play with. So if you're somebody that wants to have fun on the game, I definitely recommend using these three. Now you've seen my clonberry farm enough, so I'm not gonna waste your time and show it to you, but it's still the best way to get a ton of essence. So if you wanna stack all of your weapons and tools like me, build a gigantic clonberry farm and then feed those clonberries so the BR version of Clombo in that late. Now let's go ahead and talk about our weapons. So we have three weapons. We have a pickaxe, we have a spear, and we have a longsword. Now, the reason why we're using these three is because they do the most damage in the game. Now we're going to use Berserk, luck and damage on all three of these the reason why we're using a pickaxe is because going up against the new golems that actually does the highest damage whereas the spear and the long sword do the quickest damage putting luck on there will ensure that you get two drops rather than one the damage is obviously necessary and berserk just increases your attack speed after you use your attacks now I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering about the Rune of Undead Bane and something that I learned by testing this with my pickaxe and swords is that these really only do better damage when it comes to skeletons. Although the golems are technically an undead enemy or at least in my opinion they are, you don't actually do increased damage to them. So Rune of Undead Bane is very useless. And when you want to fight these golems you can just hold your shield up and that'll pretty much block any type of damage to you whatsoever. I believe you can also charge into these and stun them a little bit but if you wait until their spin attack is done they'll just completely stand there and be stunned which makes it really easy to do damage but you can see that your pickaxe will do 60 the spear as a melee weapon will do 14 repeatedly and you could also throw it at them for some headshot damage but holding up again that shield is going to make it so you can use whatever weapon you want and just do as much damage as you want since you can't take any damage from them so whether you're using a pickaxe a spear or a long sword you'll notice that you're just going to do very quick damage to them. And then you'll also notice that when you kill them, because you have luck on these weapons, you'll get two rift shards instead of one. You'll get more essence, you'll get more red rock and anything else that these creatures drop. Now, outside of using my weapons, I also have different essence on my tools. So I have one pickaxe and one ax that is going to have the damage, destruction and the durability. Now on the other ones, I'm gonna remove the durability from it and throw luck onto it. Now, now the description of luck will tell you that it only gives you extra loot when you're killing enemies, but that's just not true. Now the reason why I love this stack on these items is because of the durability, you're able to knock off every single one of these due to the damage and that brand new destruction rune, which is going to one hit some of these items rather than two or three hitting. And because you have that durability on there, you're going to be able to do this much more, which means that having luck on there may really not be worth it. If you're able to sit here and use the destruction on these axes to do 999 damage or 2997 damage with your pickaxe it really may not be worth using luck since you can get a little bit of extra hits out using durability so now we're going to go back to our luck pickaxe and axe so again the only difference here is that we don't have durability we still have destruction and we still have damage which is going to allow us to do a ton of damage and one hit items that we may not have already one hit so you see that i'm doing 13 damage here and I'm able to get some not root out. When I hit another piece, I should be able to get that same amount, if not double. Now, luck does not work 100% of the time, but you'll be able to notice when it comes to the gold ore that you'll see that right here, I was able to get eight gold ore or six gold ore. I hit another one, I got an additional six. Now, when I go up and I hit this gold ore right here, again, I was getting six each time. This time, I only got 
four. So you are able to increase the amount of luck that you get simply by using that on your pickaxe and your axes and farming anything in the game. I don't know exactly what's better, whether that's going to be durability or luck. I don't know in the long run which one will give you even more items, but I would imagine that durability probably does a little bit better than what the luck pickaxe does. Now, something really strange that happened when they introduced this brand new rune essence is that when you take a look, you can still have tier three damage, but if you have a legacy edition, which is something you did before this update on your rune table, you'll see that there's 13 damage for your pickaxe with the legacy triple damage but when we go back over to our new one you'll see that it's only 10 with that damage so the new pickaxe will do 30 damage with tier 3 where the old legacy will do 39 which indicates that it does more damage even though it doesn't have the new tier 3 damage so they not only buffed the damage but i believe they did this exact same thing when it came to luck so when it comes to the luck pickaxe i revert back to this clip right here where i break this top piece of gold here and in return i actually get eight gold ore when i break the bottom one i get four more so with the luck i was able to double the amount that i got from the gold when i hit this one right here you see i don't get lucky and i just get four more gold so it appears as though this is still double the amount which is pretty interesting whereas the regular damage is not the old amount that it used to be so luck will still give you double when you break something whereas the luck on or the damage will not do the same amount each time. Now I know what a lot of people are thinking. I haven't brought up the machete and this is something you can use, but you can tell it just doesn't do enough damage to unwanted people in your village. But if we're being serious, the machete just attacks very slow. It feels like that wind up animation takes a little bit longer than what a regular ax would. On top of the fact that even though it shows that you're doing decent damage with it, you can just walk through these bushes with an ax as well that just has damage on it anyway. Way, so I don't really see the purpose in having one of these machetes in your inventory at all. The only reason why I would think that it's possible that you would run around with this is just to play the game a little bit more realistically and run around with some of the newer items that are here because otherwise the machete just doesn't do much at all and doesn't serve much purpose in this game. Now I know I mentioned that we were going to go ahead and not talk about that clomberry farm but that was a complete lie because I needed to prove that I don't recycle the same clip guys. I have added three brand new sections to this with even more clomberry seeds. Now, the real reason why I did this was because not only does it help with this video, but having this many actually makes it so easy for you to find any essence that you want in the game. So when it comes to adding on the rune of damage or the rune of berserk or any of those, it gets super easy when you have a farm like this. Not only will I get 500 or more every single time I farm here, but I'll also earn essence in there as well well. So I earn the essence and I get 500 plus clomberries here to bring over to Clombo and then get even more essence. So the rune forge for me has been super easy. I'm able to put anything that I want on any of the tools, equipment, and weapons that I want. And life has just been extremely easy since building it. So I'll show you guys how to build this the best way possible in a few days. I just feel like I talk about that farm way too much to sit here and do it in a video right now. But YouTube thinks that you're going to like that video that's up there in the top left and you may also want to hit that subscribe button in the top right hope you guys enjoyed peace